most renowned artist with us as our guest host, Michael Goddard. Good Thank to you see so much. you. Good How to are see all you? Of you? I'm excited Yay. to be here. Great. How excited. Can we hug it out? <laughs> Can we hug it out? Oh my gosh. I just found out he lived in my hometown of Rancho Cucamonga in California. Yep. Sure did. Of all the cities in the world. Totally bonded now, right? Right. Yeah. It was part of the witness protection program. <laughs> so as it was with you too, I'm yes, sure. I'm so, sure. Yeah. You've lived here in Vegas for a while. You're an artist, a very accomplished yeah. artist. When did you start dabbling in the art world? You know what? I, um, I've been drawing since I was a kid and uh, I've always enjoyed it, but I love math just as much as I really? love art. Wow. So I spent 12 years as a mechanical engineer and uh, then the industry kind of changed, aerospace was laying off and I said, you know, what do I need? What do I do with my life? And I thought, <laughs> I've always loved to draw. Let me take a stab at it. And wow. um, it, was, uh, it was a rough start because I was living in California and my father lived in Vegas, so I loved all the Vegas themes uh. and all that. And so they would say things like, why are you here painting Vegas themes? And, right. and so I, I got bashed, basically. Right. Then what I, year are we talking? Like, what years? We're, we're talking like 1999, 2000. Right. Yeah. And then the magazine interviewed me. Same magazine came out a year later and okay. said, you know, we've always loved your artwork. What a visionary. How did you know that all the Indian casinos would be popping up all over the place? Wow. So it's so. funny. This, I was like, okay. And it was the same well, interview, too. Did not remember wow. that I had read the first one. So. Well, let's take a look at some of your work. When Beautiful. I see your work, I know it's you. You have a signature way you Absolutely. paint, the martinis as well, Thanks. some other signature things. It's beautiful. Yeah. Tell us about some of these pieces. Um, well, I, uh, I love to paint wine, and uh, these are two brand new pieces. Um, and the last one they showed actually is, is, is uh, no one's even seen. This is the first time we've been showing wow. it. So wow, wow. What they happens is, just in. Yeah, and what's happening is as the wine is being poured, it actually forms uh, an angel. So um, oh, we always talk the about, you know, that, that there's angels that watch over us and things like that. So I actually hid the initials, uh, may angels watch over us in the mm -hmm. painting. Oh, and of is course, there a Christian Louboutin? Wow. I see the red bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, look at I, the, the label's not even there and she can name the shoe. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's dangerous. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, honey. And but your yeah. work is even one. featured on The Simpsons. Um, yeah, they were saying the other day that they were making fun of me because I sold to all the cruise ships and the Simpsons had an episode mm -hmm. where, the, where uh, I guess Bart and his family are buying artwork and it happened to be, you know, one of my, uh, oh, one of my pieces. So you had no idea of, that was happening? No, no, no. And every once in a while something odd will like pop up and um, it's in some odd places too. I mean, um, uh, all my, uh, I have pieces on uh, all of our aircraft carriers as well because wow. I was a guest in the Navy one year. And wow. um, so it's on all of our aircraft carriers. It's in the lounge at the Pentagon and some really fun places. And I'm always like, are you sure they got the right guy? Like, yeah. why, you know. And why are you so inspired by the wine? And the, yeah, and the strawberries, yeah. too. And, and the, the grain olives. And, and the olives. And I mean, the olives. Basically, it's you're asking me. alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. Um, I love, I love what alcohol sort of means. It's sort of like eating out. There's a difference between driving through a fast food restaurant and eating being like an event, right? Yeah, right. So it's a social thing. It's what we use to celebrate a wedding, someone's graduation. Experience. Um, yeah, it, it's what we sort of use to celebrate, calm the nerves on a first date. But I do mean, yourself um, don't drink. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> so people always think I'm a recovering alcoholic, which is terrible. <laughs> I have to explain. No, no, actually don't. I had some wine when I was a kid. It made me so sick. I never wanted to touch right, the stuff. Right. But, but it's a great vehicle um, to it's a social. use. It's a, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a social I thing. I love so, that. You know, and, and at the, the same time, what's really fun for me is when you look at it, you see the martini glass, you see the, back, the black background, you know that it's a Goddard painting, but I still get to paint whatever I want. Right. So don't be surprised if you don't see like four chairs set up with th three strawberries and an olive sitting there Ooh. doing an interview because this is how I get inspired <laughs> yeah. by real life and then this imaginary. Is a strawberry always a female and olive a, a guy? Um, yeah, more or less, I guess. Okay. Yeah, more, or more or less sometimes, but uh, but I, I kind of switch up. I have the male olives that have the pimento on top. The females strategically placed uh, elsewhere, but and, and grapes were sort of ambiguous, so just depends on what like you like. Like the Miley so. Cyrus right. of the ball, like unidentifiable. I, I guess, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Michael so. Rickledge, you joined us here today on Thank the round you. table. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. All right.